mail. I just got home and this was in my office waiting for me. So it's very exciting. I know what it is, but you guys don't. I'm going to open it and you're going to get a look. There's a pull tab here. keeping my dress covered up oh look at that it's in a much smaller box than I was expecting I was expecting that to be huge This is the new tarot deck that I have been waiting for, the Everyday Enchantment Tarot. I've seen this online and it is, quite frankly, it's stunning. I've just got to get into it now, that damaging the bloody box. <coughs> I don't want to use anything too sharp because it will damage. Let's try that, see if that worked. Yes, it did. So, it comes in a really, really nice sized box. Um, just in case you are curious, the box is 9 inches, which is 23 centimetres, by 6 inches, which is just nearly 15 and a half centimetres. So, round about size of a five piece paper, I suppose. It's got a lifty lid. Oh, it's very nicely presented, I tell you. It tells you a little bit about the person who created it. Poppy Palin has written and illustrated 10 books, including her first tarot, Waking the Wild Spirit Tarot, Craft of the Wild Witch, Spirit Walking and Wild Spirituality. Her art and writing has appeared in many green-spirited publications around the world, including Cartomancer magazine and Ray Best Head Witch series. Poppy has been a teacher of art and English as well as a sacred tattooist specialising in meaningful one-off designs and transformative pieces. She is a singer-songwriter, soul poet and has fronted bands including A Pretender's Tribute. A committed animal rights advocate, Poppy's paintings, jewellery and textile art celebrate the wild land and its non-human inhabitants. She lives here in England. That is awesome. Wow, they're big cards. That's slightly embossed on the front. There's a few, um, what do you even call them, critic reviews on the back. So it looks like each page tells you about the card. It's well written out. So it does a picture of the card, keywords, shows you the image, a brief, you know, summarisation, I suppose the story and then the meaning this one says blades which i assume is in the place of swords let's have a look we've got cups blades coins and wands so yeah yeah blades is instead of swords so these are pretty 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 Wow, these are lovely. All right, let's start with... They come with a clear binding. Oh, wow, look at the back. Oh, my goodness me. These are actually quite nice. Oh, what beautiful imagery. I just realised you can't see them. These are stunning. <sighs> Love it. It's a knitting card. It's a knitting card. This now puts up there as amongst my favourite decks because I've got some that have got spinning. I've got some that have got knitting. Oh, 
I am going to enjoy looking through these. Oh, are they? Oh, they're colour coded. The major cards are black. The ones are red. Coins are green. Oh, I wonder if that's significant. I'm going to have to have a read. I suspect it is. Cut the cups are blue and the blades are purple. Oh, fantastic. Absolutely beautiful. It is a big deck. Okay. The cards are huge, really. Okay. Just to give you an idea on size. God, that is going to be hard to shuffle. The deck is an inch and a quarter thick. That is 3.2 centimetres. Okay, that is that is quite that's a chunky chunky deck. Okay, um, it is three and seven eighth inches wide, which is ten centimeters, and five and a half inches or 14 centimeters tall now just to show you a comparison i've got my everyday witch tarot here okay this is this is just move that. this is what i consider a normal size standard size tarot deck okay so i'll do it card on card rather than the whole deck because it's just too bulky for me to hold at the moment so that is the difference okay that is oh, you dropped my ruler that is over an inch wide difference an inch and a sixteenth or 2.7 centimeters wide difference and then height is seven eighths of an inch or 2.2 centimeters all right so that's the difference in size of the cards wow the difference in size of the decks is quite immense as well how can i do this right that's the enchantment can you even see that that is the difference all right to give you an idea because it's not 100 scientific because i'm holding it but it's as flat as i can get it that is nearly a centimeter thick which is one two uh three eighths of an inch thick i don't normally work in inches sorry so i've got to actually count them yeah three eighths of an inch thick difference yeah, I mean, wow this is a big ass deck this is more oracle size i mean i'll show you but even then i think it's bigger it's certainly thicker that is my nature's whispers oracle on top and they are the same height but they are a smidgen wider just a smidgen wider you can see the purple and green at the bottom that is the new deck so they're a wee bit wider and again they're thicker you can tell look at that <laughs> this is a big ass deck of cards crikey I think I'm going to be spending the next several hours shuffling these. Um, I need to look through them as well and familiarise myself with the imagery. So it'll be a while before I start using them. But um, yeah, it is a pretty, 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 pretty deck. Beautiful. I 
think I'm going to like this deck a lot. I will use it privately for a wee while before I start incorporating it into my daily pull a card readings. But yeah, it needs a good shuffle <laughs> for a start. So yeah, we shall go from there. But there you go, that's it. Um, it's beautiful. It's absolutely stunning. Um, oh, card thickness, I suppose you need to know. That's actually not too... Amazingly, it's not much thicker than the Everyday Witch Tarot. It, that, well, it doesn't feel it, and yet the deck itself is huge compared to the Everyday Witch Tarot. But it's a good, sturdy cardstock. It's smooth to the touch without being too slippery. There's no embossing. It is all 100% smooth. Um, just so you can get a really good look at the backs. The back is 100% reversible by the look of things. So you can have reverse cards, which you can't in the Everyday Witch Tarot, because the back is a one-way only thing. These, you can obviously read reverse cards if you wish to. Yeah, really, really nice. Quite pleased with that. Very, very chuffed with that indeed. I look forward to getting in and having a really, really good play with that. Learning the deck. Um... Yeah, not much else I can say. Uh, I ordered mine from Wordery, W-O-R-D-E-R-Y. Um, and, it, yeah, it, was, it, was, it wasn't any cheaper than anywhere else I found it. It was roughly the same price. But, um, yeah, it's... Uh, I'm trying to get it straight on the camera for you. There you go. <laughs> yeah, um... It took them a little bit longer than I thought it should to get it to me. It seemed to take about a week of transit. But there you go. It's here. It wasn't packaged majorly, majorly securely. You know, there was a bit of paper inside. Um, but the box that this came in isn't damaged. It's perfect. Even though the outer box was damaged, there is maybe a smidgen of a dent. But, yeah. So that is it. It's the Everyday Enchantment Tarot by Poppy Palin. And this is the box that you should be looking for. Okay. It's the same on the book. And then this is also the sun card in the actual deck itself. Brilliant. Yeah, really, really pleased with that. That is a very nice, sturdy box. Which I shall put away somewhere and keep. Because I do keep all my boxes. My cards don't live in my boxes, but I keep all the boxes. Lovely. Okay. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. Please feel free to leave me a thumbs up. Um, if you hit the book, you'll be subscribed. And if you hit the bell, you'll be notified when I upload new content. Um, feel free to leave me a comment. You know, is there anything particularly you want to know? Um, your reviews. Have you got this deck? What do you think about it? Any other decks you think I should you know that I would be interested in my favorite deck is the everyday witch tarot closely followed by the green witch tarot but I think this one's gonna uh, yeah I think this is gonna take pride of place on my uh, in use decks box <laughs> which I think I'm gonna need a bigger one but there you go um yeah so anything you need to say leave a comment down below take it easy guys have a good day bye